It's now on five. Did the county foot the bill for free Botox injections and personal trips for top execs? Well, that's what one of one former employee alleged in a lawsuit filed last month. But Metro Health says a month-long external investigation proves its executives did nothing of the sort. Megan Hickey joining us now live with more on this investigation. And Megan, we learned today that whistleblower was fired. Right, Metro Health, Metro Health says he was fired today, but wouldn't explain exactly why. Meanwhile, the hospital has released two and a half years of the CEO's expense reports. Metro Health CEO Akram Boutro spent more than $109,000 from May 2013 to December 2015, 43,000 in travel expenses, including flights and hotel rooms, more than 13,000 in business meetings and meals. But today, Boutro said his spending has been prudent. Yes, you will have the details. 325 transactions from the day I was announced. And auditing firm KPMG agreed, identifying the business purpose of each transaction in an external investigation. KPMG found no support for the three specific allegations in the lawsuit. None. There is no truth to all of these allegations. The allegations by an employee at Metro also included free Botox injections to execs and their relatives. Now that employee Simpson Huggins is out of a job. The employee who brought this suit against us was not terminated because he raised concerns. His lawyer told me now they're adding wrongful termination to their complaint. Now, while Metro Health says the firing was not concerning the lawsuit, Huggins' lawyer tells me that the termination letter cites his audit activities in the case. In Cleveland, Megan Hickey, News Channel 5.